Hi, I'm Tony Carroll and I'm um, doing this devotion. You can tell my classroom in El Reno Public Schools. Hope this uh, day is a blessing to you. Reading today from Matthew 21, verses 33 through 45. Listen, the word of God. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard. He put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he rented it to the tenant farmers and took a trip. And when it was time for harvest, he sent his servants to the tenant farmers to collect his fruit. But the tenant farmers grabbed his servants. They beat some of them, and some of them they killed. Some of them they stoned to death. Again, he sent other servants, more than the first group. They treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them. They will respect my son, he said. But when the tenant farmer saw that the son, saw the son, they had they said to each other, this is the heir. Come on, let's kill him, and we'll have his inheritance. They grabbed him, they threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. When the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to these tenant farmers? This is Jesus asking the question. And they said, he will totally destroy those wicked farmers and rent the vineyard to other tenant farmers who will give them the fruit when it's ready. And Jesus said to them, haven't you ever read in the scripture the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it's, an ama it's amazing in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you that God's kingdom will be taken away from you and will be given to people who produce its fruit. Whoever falls on this stone will be crushed, and the stone will crush the person it falls on. Now, when the chief priests and the Pharisees heard the parable, they knew Jesus was talking about them. They were trying to arrest him but they feared the crowds who thought he was a prophet. This is the word of God for the people of God. Praise be to God. Um, this is a tough scripture. A man who bought property, who um, built up a, a vineyard and the wine press and all the things necessary, planted the vines, had all this work done, and, and now all that had to be done was that, what, you, you take care of the vines, you harvest the fruit, you share part of the fruit with the owner. Pretty simple. But Jesus is telling this as a way of getting into some issues with God, God's kingdom, and the people that he entrusted so much with. And that those that were trusted did not turn out to be trustworthy. Even to the extent that he sent his son Jesus is telling a parable, he's telling the story of God and himself and what will come. Folks, we have, uh, we have a hard time these days uh, living in this world with uh, COVID-19, with the election, with the division, is, the division that's in our, in our country at the election time. Uh, it is a struggle. Yet, even in the midst of struggle, this world in which God created um, God has given us purpose, identity, and a task to be part of. He has a mission for us. That's to share God's love, His grace, His mercy, to extend to them what it would be like to be in, in His kingdom, to be cared for, to be forgiven, uh, to be given a chance of repentance and new life. And He, he had given that to others. who didn't follow up and produce the fruit. Will we produce the fruit that uh, God has placed before us? The fields that are ripe? Will we produce the fruit? Will we show in our lives His goodness, His kindness, His love, His generosity? Will we exhibit the, the fruit of love, and peace, and joy? People are hungry for it. All I have to do is share what God has already given to us. And then we get to reap that, that bountiful harvest along with God as people's lives are changed, as His kingdom comes here upon earth as it is in heaven. Bless you this day and, and all our days to come. Amen.